and welcome back to my channel my name is Jem, and we are back guys we are back i am back for another paleo plot tour it has been such a long time since i've done one of these i've just been you know life that's the best excuse i got for you but i'm really excited to be back because there are a few more plots i do want to tour and if you're interested in sharing your plot with everyone i am more than happy to give your plot a tour just hit me up in my discord send a ticket in and we'll arrange something okay today's plot tour is going to be on sateen sai and she is one of our members in our discord i know she's been working so hard on this plot because i've played with her a bunch of times in palea and the grind with Satine Sai has just been insane. She still gets on to this day, which by the way, I've kind of been slacking on my paleo presence because there's just so many games out. I guess I was starting to burn myself out with all of the quests. I hope you guys are still enjoying paleo. Let me know if there's something new that's been brought to the table that you've been enjoying because I feel like I'm so out of the loop. Whether you've been on paleo or not, I think you're gonna enjoy this tour regardless. I absolutely love, love, love interior design and so let's go over some info about Satine size plot. So, I asked her what style is your plot and she said I would say my style is definitely cozy lived in witchy whimsical and a little grand now that's gonna be an interesting one because I feel like we've either seen grand or witchy and it's always been kind of like a juggle of both a mix of both so I'm really excited to see this one and the reason why I like to ask these questions is because I really love picking people's brains when it comes to decorating designing I love being inspired and I love just gathering ideas from them and for what it's worth it does help me become a better decorator and designer in any simulation game so I asked her what inspired you to decorate your plot the way you did she answered I wanted my plot to be a place where my character would love being in that's why everything is so lived in and has purpose or it's just adorable. Checking out my friends' plots and plot tours you showcase on your YouTube channel help me gain inspiration. There's so many talented people with their own unique style and I love, love, love what you said about, you know, taking inspiration from other creators because that's really how we all learn is when we watch our favorite creator or favorite player you know like decorate these these places that's kind of how we grow to be more creative and develop our own style as well so without further ado let's go ahead and log in in Palea and let's check out this plot so I am currently in game and it's been such a long time since I've touched my plot. I still am not finished with it, okay? I'm not done and I don't feel comfortable doing a tour just yet because it's not complete. And I know everyone that I'm touring, they've pretty much kind of like finished their place because they've grinded so much. And that said, I asked the teen Sai, how many hours does she have put into her plot? And she said, an ungodly amount. I don't even know, but I have been decorating since the day before open beta became available. That's how long she's been playing this game. That's how long she's been grinding. And up to this day, she's still grinding. I see her on from time to time. And it's not as much of a grind like before, but she's put in a lot of hours. So I really wish Halia had some sort of like counter, like how many times or some sort of indication to let us know how many hours we've been playing the game i would love to see that in future updates and then i asked her which part of your plot are you most proud of and why and she said i would have to say it could be a tie between my greenhouse or my gazebo they were some of my very last additions and yet they hold a very special place in my heart so i'm really excited to see it Hopefully it's not like spoiling anything for us. I do have to wait until night. I guess she wants to show this in the nighttime because of, you know, the ambience, the lighting, all of that stuff. So I'm gonna sit here for a little bit and I'll see you guys in the nighttime in Palea. Wow. Oh my gosh. I wanna look at it from back here. Oh, this entire plot is filled filled and decorated in every grid which i love and that's how you know she spent so much time on this Ooh, 
So it is H. It, it'll show me how everything is all laid out. This plot value is at 3.6 million. It looks like she's got some tents here. I really love how she utilized the trees to kind of like, you know, kind of hide off her home. It is such a massive home. And I love that there's some asymmetry here, but also like some symmetry when it comes to like, you know, like her main entrance. It's a mixture of, of all. And it looks like she's got, let me see if I can rotate this. Um, she's got a plot here, so I'm really excited to see this because this forest is a different vibe from this forest. And yeah, let's go ahead and take a last look of this layout. And it looks like she's using the Ravenwood floor decor as like a pathway to all the different areas, which I absolutely love. Right. There she is up top. She's so cute. So it looks like she's utilizing some of the market, Maji market stuff. And I feel like I didn't play the games as much. But when you do complete some of the achievements, you do get more stuff like the Ormu standy. I actually do have the Maj Maji Market cart. And I like how she really framed everything. Like everything about this entrance screams grand elegance and class. You know what I mean? Wow. Wow. Okay, and she's using the Phoenix statue, which is one of the quests that I still have not done, but it's a little tricky to get around here. It's a little nuanced, but I like it. I like the vision. I could still go through it, but like, you know, I just kind of have to jump around. I love what she did here. And to be honest, I feel like this little path here should be walkable. This is a game issue. So to all my devs out here, um, can we make this like a pathway that we can actually walk through? You know what I mean? Like this should be functional to, to just walk through that. Let's take a look at the la- Oh my god, I really, really love these floating candles. Candles are from the Halloween event and you actually have to buy them. It costs a lot of money. I was only able to like buy four of them. So to see so many and it's countless I can only imagine how much she paid for them. Maybe, I don't know, like 100,000? Maybe I'm exaggerating, but that's a lot of grind. Also, placing these candles are never easy. They're never easy because it's kind of hard to place them at the level you want it to be. So I think she probably added some stuff on the bottom to make them place higher on the top. Does that make sense? And it looks like here she's got a moonstruck dial. I really love the ambient in this entrance with all of the fires and the glow the wallpaper the way it glows at night i really love that and it totally makes sense as to why she wants to showcase this at night where did she go okay it looks like she wants us to come here there is another fountain i really love the fountains here because it glows so nicely at night and this looks like a side entrance oh Okay, so this is kind of like a pathway to, you know, sell all of your crops, things like that. It's just easier access, which is very thoughtful of this. I like that. And then this area is just like, you know, a little clutter. I really love how she didn't over decorate this space because there's a lot of things going on with the wallpaper. Like the wallpaper itself is a major texture and I and I can understand why she didn't overly decorate these little nooks co nooks and corners you know because you want to focus in on the wallpaper itself and then she's got her workspace in here workstation I love that I like that she put the workstation outside because inside it just doesn't make sense and she's got more glow farm oh look at all of these glow farms running Wow, she's got some small cabinets, makeshift small cabinets. This decor is beautifully done. I love that. And then what's over here? Ooh, did you guys notice this? The trees frame these tents very nicely. I like that. And then she's got her collectors here, steep collectors, preserve jars. All the barrels are pretty much inside. It's very organized. I do love this makeshift large chest. I've been looking for this forever and I don't know how to get it. I mean, you're supposed to go fishing, but that's about it. Okay, 
Now this is our farming plot. Everything is organized nicely. I know in game, you know, like you can enhance other crops by placing them accordingly. You know, other crops can make others be better quality, produce more, but I just love it when players organize their, their farming plots in a sense that's more organized and more aesthetic. You know, I feel like for me, I, I had to be like an optimized player, optimizer type of player to get the most money. But I like how this is organized. I personally prefer it this way. Ooh, and she's got the, what is this called again? This windmill. I love that. Also, let's pay attention to the details, guys. These fences, she carefully placed these fences in a way that's so specific so that it can achieve this look so that she was able to achieve this look and this right here ladies and gentlemen the attention to detail is insane on the fence if you know you know and then she's got some trophies here like the foraging trophy Ooh, she's got all of the the foraging trophies i love that can you open this Ooh, okay i like when i can open things and find something cool in there Ooh, okay, looks like there's another outhouse over there, but I'm done with this. Oh, I love the way this looks from this angle. I love that. The trees are so pretty in this game. And then we'll come here. <gasps> this is her home. Oh my god, I remember when I first toured her home. It was just one room and it was designed and decorated so cluttery in a beautiful way. When I say cluttery, it's like full of life and just full of different things and personalities. Oh, but she's expanded this so much. Oh my God, and I love how we can also sit down in the game now. So we can have a nice little breakfast or I guess dinner in this game because it's 12.30 a.m. Oh my goodness, I love this corner here. I love that. The focus on the millipede. This millipede is freaking massive. What? The crab. The, the snail is huge. But I love the focus on that and how she framed around it. And it looks like oh, she's got like this ca homestead cabinet. Pantry, sorry. Unfortunately, we cannot open that. Literally every space in this wall is decorated. There's no space left behind or empty. And she's got a bookshelf here. One of my favorite bookshelves in this game is the log cabin bookshelf because it's filled with a bunch of stuff. Like it comes with this planter pot, the books. Unfortunately, we can't place books individually. It just comes just like that. That's why it's my favorite because it's very cluttery. What is this wallpaper? This wallpaper is beautiful. I barely noticed it, but it adds a lot of texture. I really like that. Okay, I'm done with this room. Oh, it looks like she has like a changing room out here. Like, you know, when you gotta grab your coat, check yourself out before you head out that door type of situation. <gasps> the kitchen. Oh my gosh. Oh, the kitchen. You know what I love about this game? The food. The way, the detail in this food. Oh, I wanna eat. I'm hungry. Let's look at that. I don't even know what this is. Oh, bacon stuffed mushrooms over here stepping on the food, but you know, it looks delicious. The chapa masala, trout dinner. Oh my God, this game. This game is so beautiful when it comes to food. Oh, and she's got this little corner. It looks like it's a pantry. It's a pantry because you can see all of the pots, the bottles and all the, all the other, like, it, it looks like a, you know, s like seasonings and things like that. And I love how she has Reth's portrait because, you know, he's a chef. I just love how she has him in her pantry, you know, staring at her boyfriend, Reth, while she makes food. Go off, girl. <laughs> um, actually, I do have Reth as uh, a lover in this game as well. And this corner though, this is cute because it's kind of like a dedicated corner for all of the chapas. 
<laughs> it's so cute. And also, like, what is this food? Oh my god, that's so cute. So they have acorns. <gasps> this little set here, though. Oh my god. That is so cute. Okay, apparently every lover is placed there for a reason. So Satin just messaged me. Every lover portrait is placed there for a reason. What was the reason? Ooh, I love this forger's basket and I love how it sits nicely by the bloom lantern. I don't know why, but something about this is just, I don't know, it's really cute. And, ooh, I like that. Another corner for like, another side for making food. You got Halo Halo in there. I love that. She's got a sink here and a fridge full of things. I That's one of the updates that I actually did like about the game is the fact that we can put things inside of these cabinets now. You know, it's small progress. We like to see it and more things on the top. And we actually have a functioning kitchen good for cake parties and i think i don't know what the cake party or what the parties are now for getting money but i like this space a lot it's fashionable and functional we love to have both and i love seeing that here and what is this apple pie oh my god y'all i swear the foods in this game look delicious oh my gosh and the way it kind of like produces the steam, I love that. Ooh, she has her trophies put up. I love that. Show off, girl. Yes. But like this looks so good. The garlic kanji looks so good right now. But anyways, looking at her trophy, she's got the forager's plaque, cook's plaque, hunter's plaque, furniture maker's plaque. And I believe you can get these items when you earn coins from these things. If I'm correct. Correct me if I'm wrong, actually. Gardener's plaque. And these are expensive to get. And this is something... Wait. Mujin? I've never caught this. I need... I actually have never caught this. Nor have I caught a chapa. It's been hard for me to catch. But also, like, again, I don't... I don't play that much. Um, also, this is genius. I barely noticed this. But she stacked a bunch of chests to create this column look sorry if my game is kind of buggy she used stack chests to create this kind of like divider which is genius i barely noticed it there because i don't know i was just paying attention to everything else around it but i like that idea also i love that wallpaper also if you guys take notice here there are some leaves kind of like bleeding through the wall clipping through the wall just so you know show off some kind of like forage and some greenery because you know this game does not allow us to put plants in corners so we kind of have to be a little bit more innovative and you know kind of work around with what we got and this ooh, what i really admire about this entire look is that you can tell she wasn't afraid to step out out of the theme or just like a set of furniture we've got some dragon tied stuff in the corner but she's also got some ranch items the details to everything is just stunning food here oh my god this is cute like the way she just has like a lounging area but she has snacks on there because you know your girl's gonna be snacking while i'm lounging i am absolutely in love with this because first of all crystals and gems that's my thing there are uh these torches here that provides the light from the back and it's just giving off this beautiful glow and like what is it called the little sparks coming off from the fire i just love that yes okay moving on to the next area oh, i just love this space so much it's very warm very inviting and this room oh is this the greenhouse she was talking about I love the wallpaper makes it really feel like you're outside. I freaking love. I just realized this. The way this door is framed with this homestead lamp and the way this just frames over this beautiful arch. It's so perfect. All of the things that you're seeing in here, it's all hard work, guys. It's all hard work and grind. And this basket. <sighs> I need 
She's got this bug catching trophy, which is a butterfly. I love that. I've never gotten a trophy from the bug catching because that's not my favorite. Also realize she has a picture of Kenyatta. Now, she said not too long ago that the lover's portrait are placed there for a purpose. There is a reasoning behind it and I don't know what it is. Now, Tish's portrait is a little bit more fitting in this room because, you know, Tish is a furniture maker and this is where we make all of our stuff and craft our things. And she's also got a custom sketch here. I think that's from Tish. Yeah, so this room totally makes sense, but I'm confused as to why Kenyatta is placed in here. This is definitely my favorite room so far because of all the greenery, the nature and outdoor Doorsy vibes. Love that. I'm moving on here. <gasps> this rug. Oh. So grand. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. This might be my next favorite one. Or this might be my favorite one. I like the color blue. I normally don't lean towards like the royal dark blue colors. But this screams grand but also like underwater it, you're basically in an aquarium wow i love it um she's got einar it looks like she already romanced every single person in the game totally makes sense as to why she placed uh einar here still wondering as to why kenyatta is in the bug room i like this you guys see how she framed the capital chic large shelf over the round mirror I love that. Everything about this room is so beautiful. Gemstones, crystals. And if there's a room that screams elegance and class and grandness, this is a room. I love the entire Dragon Tide set, actually. Ooh. Moving on to this next room. I freaking love how she used the chandeliers as kind of like fairy lights. I love how like everything is filled, no corner left behind. Oh my god. Oh my. The way the cherry blossom tree wallpaper frames the entire fireplace. There's something to it that just, I'm speechless. I'm normally so lost when it comes to like animated wallpapers or like moving wallpapers, but the way this is, oh. and oh my God, I love that. I'm usually clueless about how I'm gonna decorate things with it, right? Because it looks like a fake outside is what how I envision it. It's kind of like adding a green screen to your room and it's just like, ah, oh, you're outside. But the way that sh she used this, the way she decorated this room is beautiful, very tastefully. It doesn't even feel like a, a cherry blossom tree wallpaper at this point. And then of course, oh my God, this girl literally romance every person known to man <laughs> in this game i can't i love the grind though because romancing the npcs in this game so much work okay so much work i already got a man in real life okay let alone trying to give all of your energy into an npc let's take a look at this corner and let's kind of like pan through it slowly I wanna pay attention to all of the details and how she decorated each side of the room, each corner. Now, this is a more witchy vibe, right? We're getting very purplish colors, dark vibes, and I really like this enchanted candle. In the back, you've also got this glowing butterfly wallpaper, which is interesting because, you know, you would think if you had two different wallpapers that are moving, it would be like clashing. But that's not the case here because I think the the placement was fixed. It's fixed thing. I literally just had a brain fart. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. The way that these two wallpapers just like flow so nicely. She's got a Moonstruck item here. She's got a Ravenwood mirror, which I feel like Ravenwood and um, Moonstruck are kind of a little bit more cohesive because it's very dark purplish colors and dark pinks. But it's interesting that she has Naya's portrait here. You would think like Naya would be outside by her farm. I wanna know why he's placed in this witchy corner. Where's my girl, uh, Tamala? You know what I mean? This cozy witchy corner, again with a wallpaper. Something about this, this butterfly wallpaper. I feel like alone, it would drive me crazy that there's a lot of textures and just like different animations on it. It's not a simple wallpaper, you know what I mean? This looks perfect in this setting. It's so 
so good. And if anything, it illuminated the room even more, especially with the witchy vibes, the, the candles, the crystals, the potions, the fish. Like, let's take a look at all of the details here. We And she's got a spice rack, which kind of looks like her potions. She's got this grimoire. Like, what I really like about it is this right here, the shimmer flies. Is this the shimmer fly? Why does it look like that? Um, it's a little details in this room that makes it feel very witchy. So the thing with witchy vibes is that, you know, when you think of witchy settings, it's like very full of clutter, nature, potions, and it's very messy, but in such a beautiful way. Yes! Oh, that is so cute! I don't think I've gotten her before. In a way, if you look at it, there's some order, right? With the two fans kind of like symmetrically sitting next to each other. But there's also some like asymmetrical stuff, like a little bit of like random placements of food and candles and things like that. And I love how she has this bed here with with a what towel plushie oh my god i need a towel plushie so bad this is so pretty and i really like how she's got her two favorite lovers on top of her bed frame which is ho dari but they call him ho daddy if you're a ho daddy lover hit that like button and then here in this corner it's like her chain oh this is like her closet this is like her um walking closet and of course when we think of closets when we think of clothing fashion we think of gel chef's kiss <sighs> my love for bathrooms guys my love for bathrooms just i will always admire bathrooms more than any other room just because i don't know the bathtubs in this game just hit different okay this royal bathtub bellflower bathtub perfect if you want a more elegant look classy grand this is it and she even has the regal fountain in here if we really look at this room there's a lot of symmetry going on here and i really love that there are still some asymmetrical stuff, some random placement. But when we think of elegance, when we think of class, classy grand look, we always associate that with symmetrical things. Some elements of mirroring going on, some proper placement, some order. It's just done so beautifully without being too like, okay, this is too symmetrical, you know? It's like a balance of both mixing and matching also this sink with this flower with a dragon tied flower i love and then she's got this <laughs> i really like how she used the folding screen as a way to you know for privacy it's, you know when she's using the toilet and as she should like i could literally just sit here all day also this is so cute she's just got like you know uh, a crystal sitting in there i love that bathing together you know oh it's so beautiful you guys okay i think she's taking us to a different area she said it's supposed to be done at nighttime, but she'll give us a tour anyways Ooh, it looks like we have a choppa corner oh this is so cute oh my god the way the trees just kind of like frames around it again it's the attention to details i love it also i love how she added like a blanket storage for them because you know the chop has got to stay warm I really like how she uses the ravenwood floor decor and i think a lot of people have been doing that recently i love the idea is this a different house like an outhouse Y'all, the way she placed the fence one at a time, one stick at a time. This is dedication. This is dedication, grind, and hard work, perseverance. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna go here first because I don't want to get ahead of myself. It's screaming more like, oh, this is the greenhouse. I'm in awe. This is genius. Oh, the, this is a flower bed. The way I was like, oh my God, this looks like a flower bed, but it's an actual bathtub with Ravenwood flower planters inside of it. So it looks like a flower bed. That is stunning. Are you kidding me? And she has a drawing board here. 
Oh, you can turn the pages. This is, I know for anyone that doesn't play Palea, you guys are probably like, oh, that looks so basic to me. But if you play Palea and you play it religiously or have played it religiously, this is such a look that I would have never thought of. So thank you, Satine Sai, for this idea. Ugh. Oh my God, and she even has like a cashier, like an over the counter. Stop it. I I truly feel like I'm in a nursery shop. Wow. Oh my god. This is my favorite. Oh my god. This table is everything. You know, this is kind of like where I would propagate my plants, things like that. But I really am so in love with the grow house. I've been wanting that grow house. I think I do have it in my plot. I think. But this little corner here, you know, oh my god, I wish I could buy more of these. And we only have like what? One, two, three, four, five um, windows in here. Maybe five, one, two, three. Actually, three windows, but it does feel like there's a lot of natural lighting going on. Oh, and this is where like she waters her plants and you know, a cozy little fireplace because you know, it gets cold in the greenhouse. This is so perfect, guys. The clutter is perfectly placed. Um, it looks like this is the exit, and then it looks like another path to another area. But this right here, this is stunning. We have like a little area to like just lounge in, have your tea in. Oop, I'm gonna go follow her steps. I'm assuming she's trying to take us to a better view. <gasps> the symmetry is beautiful in this area. I bet this looks so pretty at night. Oh my god, how grand. Oh my god. <gasps> oh my god, it's a whole corner. Stop it. Is this a staircase? I love how she added candles on it. Are you kidding me? What a cozy little corner. Oh my god, the string lights. Y'all, I am such a sucker for string lights. I don't think I have this market stand yet, but I've been wanting it. Kind of like a little bar, I guess, where you drink and just, you know, drink away and just have fun, get together. We're gonna have to revisit this at nighttime. I could stare at this forever. That is stunning, guys. I want you guys to like inhale it all in, okay? It's such a simple look, but it's done so nicely and thoughtfully. Take notes, because this is such a beautiful symmetry here. I need her to walk slower because this is such a beautiful arch. Can I really go up here? <gasps> oh my, I freaking love secret passages because it's the best thing ever. Oh, it's a little shortcut. <gasps> This is what I was looking at, you guys. This little pond with a bridge, the koi pond towards the gazebo. This is stunning, you guys. It just keeps getting better. Just, it's such a seamless like transition. You know what I mean? Oh. Oh, ooh, the pink and red glow. This is all Dragon Tide stuff, by the way. And for a second, I was like, is this a new furniture set? But I just realized that you can modify some of these furniture. And she did. Oh my God, the way she's so cohesive with this color theme. The way these planters are so neatly placed. How she's got strawberry cakes here to match with the red and romantic aura. Oh my god. This is symmetry done perfectly well. Even the candle. Stop it. If you play Palea, you know how hard it is to place these candles. And she even places candles so like symmetrical you know how much like headache that would have cost me 
that's a lot of headache for me, y'all. I don't think I have the patience to place these candles. I would have just put the candles right then and there, called it a day. But nope, she was like, I'm going to go the extra step. I'm going to go the extra mile and make it all symmetrical. This girl really, really did it all. I love, oh my god, everything about it. I know it's a mostly Dragon Tide set. This is stunning. It, it it's not like, I don't know, I guess it's the colorway. It's the little things that like, the way that the lamps frame over one of these arches. You know what I mean? It adds such a nice touch to it. It has such a warm, very warm and romantic vibe to it. I love that. And I know Satin Sai has... A love for the color pink and I'm sure this was definitely one of her favorites I think she did say that earlier I really really love this okay so there is one more thing I was really excited to see the other one but <gasps> stop it another secret pathway I love these things I love it are you kidding are you kidding me she has a brazier pretty much set the mood up here you got your own little private, like, bathtub here? Stop it. I would have never thought that was up there. What is this down here? It looks like a table lamp, but that looks so interesting. Ooh. Oh. She's even got this, like, target practice thing. Oh, that is so cool. <gasps> when was this a thing? This is so cool! I wanna see what item this is. Hunter's Mannequin? I don't think I've seen this before or maybe I'm just not playing enough games. Now this is really interesting to me because this looks like an outdoor bathroom and she's got Tama. <laughs> I can't, I'm dying right now because I know Satine Sai. She's constantly talked about how much she doesn't like Tamala. For all my Tamala lovers out there, I'm sorry. Just starting off with saying I'm sorry, but she does not like Tamala and it just clicked to my head. She doesn't like her, so she probably thinks she belongs <laughs> in the trash. In the trash, literally above the waste basket with fire in it. Yo, she's wild for that. Oh, this is so hilarious. I was like, wait, isn't Tamala supposed to be like a witchy vibe? I was expecting her to be <laughs> in the witchy corner, you know what I mean? Because it's like her vibe, like the potions and all, all of the aromatics. Like, that was her thing. But the fact that she plays her outside in the waste basket, that's wild. This is what she meant by like each lover are placed in, in its uh, placing for a purpose. Who's your favorite uh, lover? Let me know in the comments. Ooh, see what I mean? Like, it's so nice at night. The way everything lights up. It's very glowy. The ambience is ambiancing. This little pathway here is perfect. The lighting placement. The trees, I am in awe. Oh, she did want to show this place at night. And we never really got to see this at night. And again, the ambience is giving. I want to I want to see what it's like inside because, you know, it was more bright when we, when we were in here. But this is stunning. She really bought a lot of candles. I just realized how many spooky candles she bought. Oh, she added some lighting in there to make it glow at the bottom. Okay. All right, guys. And that was it for Satine's size plot. That was so beautiful. And I really love the mix and match of like symmetry, asymmetrical stuff, the witchy vibes, the clutter look so well executed. And I want to thank her again for giving us the time to tour her place and give us inspirations and ideas. I hope you guys got some ideas from this as well. And if you want to see more paleo plot tours, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you get more videos from me. And I asked her one last thing, right? I love asking um, these players, you know, like, ideas and things and really picking their brains. I asked her, what are some decorating tips can you provide for your pa for Paleo players? And she said, I think the best advice would be to experiment with all furniture sets. Don't be afraid to mix and match. 
You guys saw that with hers. Look at glitch tricks. Visit your friend plots. Think about your character and how their home would reflect their personality. I love that answer because I share similar ideas when it comes to decorating plots, houses, homes, anything really. When it comes to designing anything, it always boils down to who's going to live there. What are some elements can you add to that plot or space that would reflect on their personality. It really all comes down to the story of the person, the personality of that individual. And the last thing I asked her, do you have anything else to add about your plot? And she said, I think my plot is very much done. Maybe only adding random trees in the background to add illusions. It's tucked into the forest sadly i've reached my item limit way too many times and had to sacrifice my cute fencing pattern to complete it i think i did the best i could though with the restrictions i had overall i'm very proud of this build i hope you like it too and i hope it can provide anyone with inspiration for their plot as well and that is it for today's paleo plot tour featuring sateen sai oh my god let's all just give her an applause because she did such an amazing job at this and i really hope you guys found this very inspiring and i hope you grab some ideas from her plot because ugh, i'm speechless and again if you guys want to share your plot and would like to give your place a little tour for everyone to see and give us ideas to decorate let me know my discord server and we can set something up and if you guys want to see more content from me consider following me on my other socials tiktok instagram all of that stuff i post other things on there like pc setups also if you want to see more videos like this consider subscribing to my channel because i noticed a lot of you guys are actually not subbed most of my viewers are not subscribers so if you're gonna come back and watch more i think you should consider subscribing i'm just saying anyways thank you guys for hanging out with me in this video and thank you for watching this video hope you give it a thumbs up and i will see you guys on the next one bye